this week I decided to hit the pavement running to my Vietnamese cultural roots. I'm Vietnamese American. I want to continue the delicate dance of being Vietnamese and American. How much can I keep my culture alive as I continue to progress in the Western world? We're starting off really dramatic and I'm trying a lot of new things that I haven't tried before. If I fail, I have your emotional support. We just won't tell my mom about any failed Vietnamese dishes. We're gonna start off with the batter. And what you're gonna need is this. Get you some rice flour. We're gonna use one cup of this. I'll put like recipes or any measurements, if I can, if I remember, right here or down below in the description. Wow, it feels so official having rice flour in my house now. Growing up, we always had a bag of this. And it just seemed like one of those complicated ingredients that I would never know how to use. But look at me now. powder oh my god a tablespoon of cornstarch and my favorite turmeric the turmeric is actually what's gonna give it its beautiful golden color and I'm not measuring this I'm just eyeballing it some salt I'm gonna whisk all of the dry stuff first make a divot in the middle up and then some coconut milk traditionally you would use beer as the fluffing agent but I'm using club soda a bit less than half a cup I'm gonna put in like one and a half cups of warm water. And then we whisk. I'm surprised that there's no egg in this recipe. It's a very watery batter, but that makes sense since it's super thin and crispy. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm like barely in the batter making stage and my mouth is watering already. And I'm gonna slice up some scallions to add into the batter. Okay, so now that we have our batter, I'm just gonna set it aside and then work on the protein. For the protein, we have some pork belly. I couldn't decide between whether I wanted the skin on or not, but I watched a few videos and one of them stuck out to me and he didn't use the one with the skin on. So I'll let you know if it turns out good. Another protein normally found in Bunseo is also shrimp. So I have a few pre-boiled shrimps I'm just gonna throw in there. I'm making a very small portion. I was trying to be very economical on my um, grocery shopping trip this week, so. Frozen shrimp it is. There should be a cultural food prep company, kind of like a Hello Fresh, but it's like meals like this. How cool would that be? Well, maybe there are. There are cultural dishes. It's just very, um, very vanilla sometimes. Time to season the pork. Some salt, sugar. I'm literally eyeballing all of this. Some fish sauce. One or two tablespoons. Just enough to get it lightly covered. Mix that around. I'm gonna set that aside and then I'm gonna get on to making the nuk jam, which is actually a very personal touch to a Vietnamese cuisine. Some people like it a little bit more tart. Some people like it a little bit more salty or sweet. So you decide on that. All right, to make nuk jam, you just need a lime, nuk mam, sugar, some freshly minced garlic, and some Thai chilies if you have that, but I don't. So I'm just gonna use like shit, I don't know. I don't even have raw chilies like that. I might just try to use chili oil. Rolling out the lime to get as much juice out as possible, as you should in life. Fresh lime, some sugar. Ooh, that might be too much. Fuck. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna mix it in till it dissolves. What I was supposed to do was to warm up some water in a pan and then dissolve the sugar and then combine it. Now that it's nearly dissolved, I'm gonna add in some minced garlic. Add in the fish sauce. I just got this at H Mart. Fried chili and oil. It looked promising. You know how I tell if an item is good at a market? I see if it's almost sold out compared to its other competitors on the shelf. This one was almost sold out. And it wasn't dusty, so I knew it wasn't just running out of stock, but it was like a hot item. So it better be good. I swear to God. fails me. See, I told you, it never fails me. Ooh, there's peanuts in here. It smells so good. It has its own flavor, so it might fuck up the nook jam, but... Hmm. I wonder if I can just fish out the chili flakes. I'm really going rogue here today, you guys, so... I never said that this was authentic Vietnamese. <laughs> this is just, this is just Tammy's way, alright? Hopefully that's good. Hey, if it's not good, I'll let you know and I'll save you the time. Normally there's no oil in nuk jam, but we're going with it today. I might need to put in a little bit of water to dilute this. Mmm, that's pretty good. I'm putting a little bit more nuk mam in. That's pretty damn good. I might have done something. 
I'm just gonna set this aside and then now we're gonna get on to making our bunseo. It's the moment of truth. My pan is heating up and I'm about to see if I can do this. I'm like kind of nervous even though I'm the person that's gonna be eating it. I'm gonna put just the teensiest bit of oil in the first because we're gonna render our pork belly. You always know that your pan is hot and ready when the oil isn't as viscous and it moves around the pan a lot more freely and that's when you wanna start cooking. Unless it's too crazy hot and smoking, then turn down your heat. See, I am helpful in some basic manner in the kitchen. All right, let's get our marinated pork. This is gonna be inside our first bun sale together, you guys. What a moment. I'm gonna move all of my protein to one side, like half of the pan, so that holding the crepe is easier. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pour in the batter now. God. See that? It's on the wrist, baby. It's on the wrist. And I'm using my left hand. So you can do this too. I'm gonna put in my bean sprouts now. On one side. It's looking like this is, it's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Okay. And I'm gonna cover it so that the bean sprouts can wither down and steaming bean sprouts makes it such a nice texture. So that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna prep my greens. So I have perla leaves. I think it's Vietnamese name is so funny. Tia Tho, and then some green lettuce. And that's all of the leaves that I bought. Usually there's like mint leaves and all of these other greens, but these were the two that I was feeling. I'm gonna pour in a little extra oil on the edges to crisp it up. I like my bun seo extra crispy. Yeah. Oh shit. I totally missed the plate. I can save it, I can save it. Mmm. Mmm. I just tasted a bit of the batter. She's crispy. Let's try her. Also, I don't know when I started to personify every inanimate object. I always have pronouns for them. I don't know. We have my first ever bun sale. There's a few injuries in there. It's okay, it's my first one. I have this beautiful medley of greens. Well, just two things. I have the tia tho I told you about and the green lettuce. And I have the nuk cham. Tonight I'll be drinking this strawberry cream prebiotic and probiotic soda. Oh, I think somebody asked me what cup this was in the last video. And this cup is from Kinto. Cheers. Oh, that's pretty good. It's very carbonated. <coughs> Money back guarantee if you don't love it. How to eat a bun seo. At least this is how my mom taught me. Pick a good piece of lettuce. The thick end of the lettuce, I'm just gonna snap it and then place it in the middle for reinforcement. And then we're gonna use this beautiful fanned area of the lettuce to wrap the bun seo in there. I'm gonna take a piece that has both pork and shrimp in it. Good amount of bean sprouts. I'm gonna take the perilla leaf and there we go. You just dip this end into your nook jam. Enjoy my... I don't know if you can hear the crunch, but that is a crunch of pure satisfaction. Mm. 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 <laughs> there's just a lot of flavors going on, a lot of textures, so there's a lot to process. Sometimes you just gotta sit down with the bun seo, enjoy it with no stimulation, and just think about life and stare out the window. It's next level. Not to toot my own horn because this is definitely not as good as what my mom has made me or what you can get at restaurants, I don't think. To be honest, the ingredients were quite easy to get and not too expensive. So had I known this recipe when I was in college or the early days when I first started living on my own in New York, living extremely paycheck to paycheck, like this is very doable. You can save the rice flour to keep making things. Oh, the leaf kind of broke on me. Oh shit. What a good way to end my day. By the way, it's Friday night tonight, and this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna ask my friend if they want some. But other than that, I'm just gonna wash dishes. I'm gonna go give myself a very long and loving shower, do my little nighttime routine, curl up with a book, and go to bed. I woke up like at 5 a.m. today. I'm trying this whole five in the morning routine this week, and to be honest, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what, but I feel great. I was really expecting energy crashes throughout the day, but we're doing okay. Every time I wrap it in, it's such a delicate process. I find it adorable. Look how tucked in my bunseo is. Look how soundly it's sleeping in there. It's so cute. Mm. 
Mm. So traditionally, there's mung bean in this Vietnamese crepe. However, it was a lot of work to do, like to boil it, drain it, and all that stuff. And honestly, I don't really mind it because I think the coconut milk and the batter brings out that rounded taste. Hello friends. Today I'm gonna try to make bông thịt nướng. It's this beautiful medley of fresh vegetables, marinated grilled beef or pork, whatever you decide as your protein, all laid on top of a bed of bouncy vermicelli noodles. Let's get to it. It's actually pretty easy. The only thing that I think I fucked up on already happened at the grocery store and that was my meat choice. This is the beef here. I was just told to buy thinly sliced beef. This looks pretty thin, right? This was the flank. I think something inside me was like it's okay but also another part of me was like it's gonna be tough so what am I gonna do like pretty Ricky said I'm gonna beat it up I've got my meat mallet I'm also gonna use the rest of the pork that I used last night so if this fails then I can use this for like a stew It is now time to make the marinade. We'll do all the dry ingredients first. Sugar, chicken bouillon. I feel like this was in every Asian household. This was the base of a lot of things alongside our oyster sauces and fish sauce, soy sauce, poison sauce. Actually, there were a lot of sauces at home. Now that I think about it, there was always a pantry full of this sea of sauces that I truly did not know how to use, but hey, look, now I'm using them. I'm just eyeballing everything, but I've come to find that a lot of Vietnamese cuisines, at least, there's a lot of just random measurements. People will add their own touch of extra shallots here or somebody else will add an extra touch of lemongrass there. It's very subtle though. Like how to make braised pork and eggs, like thit ca. There are various ways to make it, but it all boils down to this one dish. Lemongrass that I chopped up. <sighs> that smells so good. It's so interesting now to see lots of high-end fragrance brands use lemongrass as part of their scent recipe. So it makes me feel like, oh, Southeast Asia was onto something. Put hella lemongrass in there. Eight cloves of garlic. So that's basically all of this. Garlic is life. Oyster sauce. This is a new bottle. I guess I'm just eyeballing today. Do some oil. The difference of buying a high quality extra virgin olive oil. Oh, health, yes. But the taste, amazing. Give it a good mix. I'm gonna add in a splash of fish sauce. Just cuz. Just cuz. So my mom was like, you should marinate this the night before you decide to cook it. I wasn't feeling up to the task last night. And then I also saw another recipe where a person only marinated for 10 minutes. And I was like, you're my girl. <laughs> That's the one. We're just gonna go with a 10, 20 minute marinade today. So I feel like the fish sauce will help that penetration process, you know? I'm gonna add this marinade into the beef. Mix it in, mix it in. Do you see a wild animal? He's appeared. I'm so freaking excited to cook with lemongrass. Like, who am I? A mom? Am I turning into my mom? I wouldn't mind. That woman is brilliant. Mom, I love you. Meanwhile, she's watching this and yelling at me for doing the wrong thing. They look nicely coated. I feel like I just want to use the rest of this lemongrass. Why not? I took the time chop it up. Let's put in just a tad bit more oyster sauce. Again, I'm only putting in a little bit more because I'm cooking it today and I want to be sure that I have enough kick in this. There's nothing that disappoints me more than a bland dish. You gotta start salting our foods, people. Growing up with Vietnamese dishes, I feel like my tongue is so used to tasting that umami taste, that rich, deep, colorful taste that just hits you in your core. That's how umami makes you feel and that's what fish sauce does to me. Some people say oysters are an aphrodisiac. I say fish sauce is an aphrodisiac. That you can fight me on. That's a questionable statement. That's a questionable statement, Tammy. Anyway, I'm gonna put these in the fridge for like 10 minutes. Would you look at how proper my little man is? Like, who taught you to do this? He loves any pocket of sun that he can find in my apartment. There's so much square footage where he can cuddle up on. Like there's a nice couch. He can go on the bed after I wipe him. But no, he chooses little pockets of sun that exist in my apartment. You're a sun bather, aren't you? He's a sun baby. He's a pretty old fella. 
There he goes again. Like, I don't know who taught him this. I feel like he was this very proper older gentleman in his former life that had a looking eyeglass and would go to operas. Ooh, he's a yoga doggy. Oh my god, you're so cute. Let's get to cooking this. Smelling good. I really should just put it all in, right? sad you guys I'm a little sad I bought the wrong fucking noodles I'm taking the nook jam I made yesterday without further ado let's give this a go let's give this a taste test I still have hope for it so I'm actually using the Trader Joe's sauerkraut it's pretty good I love kimchi sauerkraut anything fermented with those good bacterias okay ma you guys I'm gonna try the beef I think I grilled it pretty well Y'all, that is delicious. Mmm! Oh my god! Tammy! Good job! I'm gonna try the egg rolls. They seem pretty crispy. Mmm! The bean sprouts, the lettuce. Mmm! Mmm! You know when a meal is so good, you just start clapping and making inappropriate noises? That's what's happening right now. That marinade for the beef is so good and I'm so happy that the beef turned out to be so it's like fatty but still has enough meat on it to hold on to the juices. It's like a tender, juicy beef jerky. Pickled vegetables, just the right offset. Offset? All right, you know what? I'm not too mad about the pho noodles. They're good. They're picking up the nook jam really well. Okay, I went to Target. I think I'm just gonna try to become a food channel because it's official. It's official. I bought me some small glass bowls. You heard that right. I got a stack of small bowls. I'm always watching cooking channels and they always have everything ready to go in these perfect little small bowls. And I was like, I need that because my counter is always looking like my pantry threw up onto the counter. It's just an eyesore. I'm Martha Stewarting it up. Does she cook on her channel? I have no idea. I actually never watched it. I just know she got arrested. I'm officially becoming Food Network. I'm gonna try to have everything ready. What's the word? The French word? Mise en place? Mise en place. When everything is just kind of set out, you know, and I can just be like five tablespoons of sesame oil and do that. I'm so excited to cook dinner tonight. I'm really happy that this brings me so much joy. It doesn't take much. I got the dog that I dog sit a lot. A new toy. He has one in his home, but I want him to have one at my house too when he spends time here. He goes crazy over this. So I got him some treats, some soft treats, and I got some bananas. I'm actually gonna have one right now. How rare is it to find a bunch of bananas that's ready to eat? Oh shit. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. What if you just walked by a girl in her car right now recording yourself eating a banana in your local Target parking lot? Mmm, that's a good banana. Do you have a surprise for you? You ready? <laughs> You like your toy? He's like, leave me alone, lady. Okay, for tonight's dinner, I'm making something that I've been wanting to try to make for a long time. It's called Vietnamese gad roti, also known as five spice chicken or Vietnamese rotisserie chicken. There are so many ways to make this. But then I saw that the common ingredients for this follows along fish sauce, soy sauce, honey, garlic, and five spice. So that's what I'm gonna take in today. We're not gonna go too fancy. I have some organic chicken legs here that I bought from Whole Foods. I'm starting to be more conscious about where I get my meats from, specifically what the animals ate themselves because what 
what they ate, process through their body, and nourish them in a way that should be natural. And then it goes into our bodies. So I've just been thinking about that. In no way am I super strict on that right now. It's just something that I'm transitioning into, trying to be more conscious about. Oh yeah, I dyed my hair. I already posted the vlog where I did it. This happened at 6 a.m. in the morning, y'all. And I'm loving it. First things first, I'm gonna wash this chicken and then tenderize it. That one Tamiya song is stuck in my head, So Into You. That's such a good song. Are those songs considered oldies now? If it is, I feel legit. I saw a meme today where it said when you start to realize that when people refer to 20 years ago is no longer the 80s, it is the 2000s, something hits inside of you. But hey, I'm starting to feel like an OG now. That's what we get for being on the cusp of millennial and Gen Z. It's very confusing, but also very rewarding. We lived in a time that didn't have the internet and then moved into an era where the internet is running the world. I gotta wash my chicken. I'm gonna take a fork and poke some holes in the chicken. Okay, time to put everything together. Look at how beautiful these glass bowls are. Tell me you don't feel like you're watching Food Network right now. Food Network, hire me. Are they still on? But first we have fish sauce and soy sauce. That was so easy, I love these. And then we have the sugar. They just stack on top of each other. This video is really about small glass bowls. And then we have the five spice powder. This stuff is so potent, but it's so good. I thought the recipe would require more five spice powder, but because of the star anise, the aroma is pretty overpowering. So half a teaspoon is good. Six to eight cloves of crushed garlic. Yeah. And then I'm gonna squeeze in two tablespoons of honey. I think the measurements for the marinade that I made are for four chicken leg and thighs. So I'm gonna have some saucy thighs tonight because this is only two. It's swimming in that marinade. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for like 20 minutes or so as I make my rice. Yeah, super easy. Tonight I'm gonna try to add some flavor to my rice with some chicken bouillon and some fried garlic. I don't know what's gonna happen. I know it can't taste bad, but it might not taste like amazing. Worth a try. This much rice. I'm just gonna put in, I don't know, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon. Then I have this fried garlic. Okay, I'm just gonna fill it with water, mix it in and cook it up. I really hope I didn't fuck this up. Okay, so while my rice is cooking, I'm gonna preheat the oven. Actually, we should try the Our Place oven tonight. Let's do that. It is time to fry up our chicken, and I'm really hoping it doesn't splatter everywhere, but I'm hungry. Let's get the show on the road. I'm gonna do it skin side up. She's slippery. I'm just gonna brush some of our marinade onto it. 40 minutes. I really hope it turns out okay. So here's our chicken, and y'all see that right there? Yeah, I wanna clean that up. But the chicken is looking beautiful. Okay, the rice is ready. I don't know why I'm being so dramatic, but I think it's gonna taste all right. And if it doesn't, I just put some soy sauce on it. Call it a day. Looks really pretty. It smells really good too. While I'm waiting for the chicken, I'm gonna slice up some tomatoes, cucumbers, and that's pretty much all that I want tonight. Maybe some greens. Okay. I'm gonna make a little sauce to drizzle over the plate. Soy sauce. If you have lime, that would be better, but I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon in there. And then just a teensy bit of sugar. Any dish that makes sense for me to add a kimchi or sauerkraut to, I will do it. Any chance I can get probiotics in and feed my gut biome. Cucumber, tomato, cucumber, tomato. This looks like a kid is putting this together. So be it. It's cute to me. I'm the one eating it. Bam, look at that. She's an artist. Now in the center is rice. I'm gonna use the glass bowls to shape the rice. Pack in the rice and some sauerkraut. And here we have our chicken leg. Unfortunately, it did not crisp up as much as I wanted it to. 
because it smells amazing. I'm gonna take the soy sauce mixture that we made, drizzle that over. It looks pretty, but let's see if it tastes good. Wow, this looks so yummy and it smells so good too. I don't think the outside got crispy at all. I did broil it for like four minutes or so after. I shortened the cooking time than what the recipe had said because the oven is just smaller and I only did two chicken legs. I think most of the recipes that I saw, they're cooking like four to six chicken legs. Tonight I'm drinking the Sanzo lychee sparkling water. The lychee smell is so faint. I also have a candle burning to set the mood for us. You know, cheers. It's so subtle. It's not sweet. It's just carbonated water and lychee puree as a flavor. Now let's start off with the rice. It's very aromatic with the garlic. Mmm. The rice almost has a sticky texture to it too. It's really good. Mm. I love the color that the chicken bouillon and the garlic brought to the rice, but it's not overpowering. It's super subtle. Okay, let's see how it goes with the chicken. Don't have a crisp there, so I don't know if there's any point in searing it. Maybe you can just pop it in the oven after marinating it. The chicken. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yup. Yup. What the heck? That is so good. <laughs> I'm so happy how this turned out. It may not have been perfect, but it tastes so good. You know those rotisserie chickens that they sell at Whole Foods? That's good to me. It's good. But this, this tastes like restaurant chicken. The five spice just levels up the chicken so much. Tonight we're making something very easy. I went to Whole Foods today and I grabbed some boneless beef sirloin steak. No antibiotics ever. Never ever. They just really wanted to make that clear. So we'll be making some Vietnamese bao lup lac, which translates over to shaken beef. Y'all, I'm staring at my ingredients and I feel like a professional chef. So far I haven't burned down a house. So first I'm gonna cube up the meat, washed and ready to be cut. It looks like a little bit of meat, but it's actually a lot once you cut it up. Oh, it's thundering. It's about to storm. Yup. Let's get to seasoning this, because I'm gonna need to marinate this for like 20 minutes or so. I learned that you actually don't want to marinate this for too long because the meat starts curing. Once you actually cook your meat, it gets very chewy. We don't want that. Oh, she's really coming down. Anyway, I hope you guys can hear me. If not, I'll put cute music over this. Put some oyster sauce fish sauce and soy sauce, some sugar, black pepper, and of course garlic. And just give that a good mix. Okay, that looks good. I'm just gonna put this into the fridge for 20 minutes. For my tomatoes, I wanna make sure that I cut little slits in them. I don't know what it is, but cooking while the rain is pouring, that being my background noise, feels so romantic. Look at us doing romantic things together. I could kiss you right now. And then all we have to do, Thunder. Now all we have to do is fry up the beef, add these in, maybe make like a side salad, serve that all over rice. So easy! But will it taste good? I don't know, we'll see. I'm just going to prep my pan with a little cooking oil. I kind of want to stray away from vegetable oil. I guess it depends on what I'm cooking because sometimes when you fry stuff, you need that higher smoke point. Extra virgin olive oil and avocado oil, they smoke up really fast. Probably why a lot of my dishes get just a little charred. I don't know y'all, I've just been doing a lot of research on vegetable oils. Again, not a health guru in any kind of way. We're gonna get to shaking. Shake what your mama gave you. See, Vietnamese people be freaky too, you know? Oh, this marinade smells like a typical Asian party. I don't know why Asian parties growing up, they always had some sort of marinated beef, like galbi, Korean barbecue short ribs. You can find that at any gathering. In those foil trays, that was a party staple. The pan is hot. Let's go. I'm gonna try not to get too much marinade into the pan so that things don't burn. Shaking it up. Yeah, this would be so much more fun if I had a walk. You really don't have to do all that. That was just like the origins of the name of this recipe. But y'all can't tell right now, but I'm sweating, so I'm, I'm gonna stop all that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the beef. At this point, you can cook it until how you like your beef. I like it medium rare-ish. This looks like it's gonna be medium well done because my ass took too long. I'm gonna put in the tomatoes. But yeah, when I tell you I'm sweating in these videos, I'm actually like little beads roll down my face because I have to turn off the AC. My AC likes to talk is very loud and then we should be good to go so fast so easy now this wasn't in the recipes that i looked up 
but growing up, my dad, who shall not be named, always put in butter, so I'm gonna put in some butter. You're good to go. The rain is so loud, so I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm ready to eat my... Tonight I'm trying this kimono sparkling water, sparkling soda, I'm not sure. If you like that sour, tangy plum taste, this is it. Okay, let's dig in. For the rice, I just used yesterday's rice. And then I also made like a really quick side salad with some mixed greens and toasted sesame dressing from Trader Joe's. We did it. Another night of a Vietnamese recipe successfully made, in my opinion. Ooh! A little critique I have for myself is that the beef is a little chewy because I overcooked it. Next time while cooking the beef, I wouldn't lower down the temperature. Instead, I would just sear it through at a high temperature and then take it out and then let it rest because while it's resting, it's also still cooking. And I usually like my meats medium rare. Still good though. I'm so glad I added in that butter. Black pepper and beef. Yes. It's raining too loud for me to talk anyway. I'm just gonna enjoy this, okay? I'll see you tomorrow night. So tonight I'm cooking something from my childhood. I guess all of these are from my childhood, but this specifically, this was always given to me at the right time, which was during a time when I either felt really sick or the weather was getting colder. It's called soup nui ga. Soup means soup. Nui is noodle. Ga is chicken. It's basically a Vietnamese chicken noodle soup. There's another version of this where it's with pork bone, which is so yummy. That one takes a little bit more time because you're extracting the broth from the pork bones. But tonight we're just gonna go with some chicken thighs and hope for the best, but expect the worst. Or just be neutral. Just be neutral, Tammy. It's okay. I'm a little sweaty right now because I just came out of my yoga class. And then I ran over to Whole Foods. I'll shower after dinner. I'm hungry. Grill up our chicken first with some garlic and some oil, and it's steaming right now, so it's hot. And I'm gonna salt and pepper the chicken. Okay, and then I'm just gonna mix it around until the chicken's a little brown. Right around town. I decided to go with carrots and daikon today but you seriously can put in any veggies that you'd like. I think potatoes are really popular in this dish. Celery, you can even do beets, which would turn your soup this pretty red color. I have chicken bouillon and sugar, get that mixed in. I have my fish sauce, and then just a splash of sesame oil. One thing I wanna note is that you need to keep skimming off the scum that floats to the top so that your broth stays clear. Run your ladle across the top of your soup. All the scum is coming from the chicken, so we want a clean broth. I don't know if you guys have seen a pattern this week. Almost every meal had fish sauce in it and a little bit of sugar, some sort of garlic, shallot, garnish of green onion, but tonight we have cilantro mixed in. The aromas are killing me. I need to try this. Okay, my... Mm. That just brought me back to my childhood home. I really can't wait to make this in the winter too. It's gonna hit extra hard. It's hitting right now. There's so much umami in this little soup broth. It's so easy. And that drop of sesame oil does so much. I didn't even know that was a part of the recipe until I saw a couple of people do that and I just wanted to try and it's so good. Don't skip out on the sesame oil. This pasta is so good too. I highly recommend it for a dish like this where the pasta isn't the star of the show. Like I don't know how this chickpea pasta would do in say a fettuccine dish. I like it. It tastes just like regular pasta to me. Out of 10 recommend so good chicken thigh it's soft it's 
tender, the carrots, the daikon. What a good dish. Definitely give us a try. I think it's pretty easy. It was really easy actually and it was quite fast. I think the total time was 35 minutes maybe? 40 minutes and that's with me like filming and doing all my nonsense. Mmm! Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go enjoy this. I bid you adieu. Oh my god, it's hot. But I'm gonna go enjoy this, watch a movie. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for joining me this week as I tried to call in my ancestors to help me in the kitchen. And I think they came through. I think we have a pretty good roster of recipes to cook once I become a mom. If ever. Or to host dinner parties, you know what I mean. All right, good night.